Create a brochure. Build a PowerPoint. Assemble a poster. Make a video. One project after another. We've all done them. Cut and paste. No problem, you're thinking, until the next instruction comes. Use copyright-free images. What? Enter one of the Internet's most famous citizens. A face familiar the world over, a public identity rivaled only by a handful of corporate giants and global superstars, the Big Copyright C. Everyone knows what Big C stands for. Big C means all rights reserved. Big C means ask permission. Big C means private property. I know. You get it already. And you're tired of it. But you also have a lot of questions. What is and is not copyrighted? How do I find copyright-free images? What if I really need to use copyrighted images? All fair questions and good ones. Let's see if we can clarify a little. By the late 1980s, U.S. law had changed so that works become copyrighted automatically the moment they're made. The moment you hit save on that research paper, the second the shutter snaps closed, the instant you lift your pen from that cocktail napkin doodle, your creation is copyrighted. Well, that makes it simple. I hear you. Everything is copyrighted. Yup, you're right. Everything you write, draw, paint, type, take a picture or video of, any audio you record or games you design, everything you post to the web, it's all copyrighted. Unless, well, check this out. Enter Creative Commons. Creative Commons wanted to find an easy way to help people tell the world up front that they want to allow some uses of their work. We called the experts, the U.S. Copyright Office, for advice. Their response? There's no real answer. Get creative. So we got creative. How? Our CC brand marks works that are governed by Creative Commons licenses. A set of standardized copyright licenses available free of charge on our website. We wrote these licenses so that lawyers and courts could read them. Then we translated them into a language you can read. And then we translated them into a language computers can read. Now, CC isn't meant to compete with copyright, but to complement it. It allows you to retain your copyright while granting the world permission to make certain uses of it upon certain conditions. If the big C is like a red light, then CC is a green light. If the big C says, no trespassing, the double C says, please come in. If the big C says, all rights reserved, CC says, some rights reserved. So you can use the powers of the net to find works free to share and build upon and to invite other people to transform or trade yours so that you can get creative, not only with what you make, but how you make it available. So you can collaborate across space and time. So you can be a co-author with someone you've never met. So you can stand on the shoulders of your peers, all without asking permission because permission has already been granted. Creative Commons. Get creative. It's easy when you skip the intermediaries. I know, you still have more questions. I hope this was helpful. Please check back for more installments on this video series or check with your local librarian for help. Thank you for watching.